Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. This is Delilah Spiritual Spot. I'm Delilah Rose coming with your weekly reading for October 19th uh, to the 25th, 2020. Um, we're just going to jump right into this uh, with this reading and please take this opportunity as I shuffle to like, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification button because I go live on this channel with free mini readings every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's just jump right into this. I'm using my Unicorn Oracle cards. Yes. Curiosity. Start a project related to something you're curious about. So fo following your passions. Happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. You know that make it to you fake it type of thing. I, I'm really into that. I, I believe in that and just saying something positive each and every day to keep yourself going until it becomes habit. And when you retrain your brain, you create your magic or your um, law of attraction to attract uh, positivity into your life. I like that these cards here have this purple color and we see the guidance from um, our higher power or higher beings or guardian angels. This is also telling you to listen to your instinct about things because, you know, a lot of time, Aquarius, I think you have a lot of self-doubt issue. Again, this is for all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. So take what is meaningful for you. I'm going to pull one more oracle card here in the beginning. I normally don't do that, but I want to see what these mermaid cards have to say. See if we can get a little more clarity here. Mystery. Some of us are confused about what we want. You know, what we want to go after or what it is that uh, spirit is driving us to. So I, I like that with this card because many of us are, are stuck in a mystery. I'm not an Aquarius, but this is, again, this can relate to other people if you have Aquarius in your chart. I'm just going to get my Light Sears deck out here and let's do this. I'm going to put three cards. Um, this wants to come out subconscious, conscious and advice or slash outcome from spirit. I'm giggling or laughing because with this card, with this mystery, I said that some of us don't have or nor direction and here we have this five of swords out. <sighs> Fighting ourselves, the conflict within. In our conscious or present state, we have this page of pentacles. So maybe this could be a balancing act with finances and this is what cause, is, is causing the confusion. We have the Tower moment, right? Some of you may be going through that right this minute or the week leading into this. I'm actually recording this on October 18th. So this is a very present reading for your Aquarius. We have the King of Swords clarifying this Five of Swords. I, and I, I dig that a lot. We have this Five of Cups with this Page of Pentacles. Now also remember you have 55 here. So 55 are, is an angelic number. Um, it, when we have angelic numbers, it's just a spirit pushing us towards something. Um, and I get, I'm get i getting that a lot in these readings. And I think that that's because the general, general collective is getting a higher calling. And I love that this just came out. The bottom of this deck is the Queen of Pentacles because I wanted to see what spirit has for us in terms of um, any further advice. I am going to clarify with another deck um, if need be. But this Queen of Pentacles is underneath. So again, let's just get into it. We have this Curiosity card. Start a project related to something you're curious about. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. Because to bring in new um, fruition or abundance in your life, you're going to need to think positive. Again, this is just a way of retraining 
for some of us, it's a mystery. We don't know. We, we're not getting the signals. We're a little bit out of tune. And I think that's what this, this reading is based on. And it's based on things falling apart in your life, Aquarius. So we, here we have in the subconscious mind, you're, you're stressed out. You don't know what direction you're, you're, you're going and you are fighting yourself. You're fighting with your own emotions, your own thought process. Um, and you just don't know what direction to take, right? With this King of Swords, it's telling you to be strong of spirit, right? So don't give up. You will figure it out. It's going to take some patience and some planning and some strategy but it doesn't mean you're going to fail. Uh, my advice from you is to make a list of things that you want to accomplish and just try to choose things that you know that you, you have a high possibility of su success at and that's because you're gonna be able to stick with the plan. So write down some things and stick with the plan um, is what Spirit is giving me to give to you Aquarius. Here you've been juggling money. Money has been hard for you. Working has been a chore. Maybe you're out of work, seeking new work, or maybe you're working half salary. This is all going to change. New money is, bringing, is being drawn to you, but you first needed to get to this point. This point is happening now. Tower moments are quick moving, lightning striking, um, so it's going to probably uh, happen. You're gonna, it's gonna come to a head uh, the week of the of the 19th. Here we have this Five of Cups. Don't keep thinking and um, going over what was lost, because you can't go backwards in time. What you can do is take a look at it, make a reference point of not to repeat that behavior, but don't spend too much time thinking of what you flushed down the drain, because you have more. You know, you have more to access in your heart, in your mind, and in your spirit. You are not depleted. In our future posts, or our future, um, in our future, immediate future, I should say, we have this tower moment of necessary changes that had to happen. You were flying by the seat of your pants here, and it wasn't working for you. So it all had to, cr uh, to crash so you can seek a different perspective on things. The advice from spirit and the outcome is if you listen to the instinct that you seem to be disconnected from, if you can find a way to reconnect to that, you can change this around. Uh, let's just get some clarifier cards from this deck. All right, and here we are with the relationship that is an issue. So at the heart of this, um, it's a failed relationship. This is the tower moment. So many of you are going through relationship woes and you're either ended our relationship or you're having some type of internal fighting with these, with these fives. Fives are discord. Um, if you go into the numer numerology of, um, of these numbers and keywords. So you're having some discord with your significant other, whether it be male or female. Things are off here and it's weighing on your mind. It's also weighing on your wallet because maybe you rely on this person to pay half the bills and they are not doing it. In our conscious mind, we have the hangman. This is telling you again to seek a different perspective on things because what has work from you and work for you in the past is no longer happening this is why you're having this tower moment um here with the seven of wands the seven of wands clarifying these two cards is again seeking within to find your happy place think of a happier time to to get through this this rough period of your life um it's telling you if you if you go within, if you find the balance, if you protect yourself, if you live in your glass bubble here um, and put up that shield of positivity, nothing can get to you. Even this tower moment, you will be able to protect your heart, mind, and spirit. Again, you're going to be fine because overall we have this Queen of Pentacles. So whatever you lost monetarily, you're going to gain it back. 
Um, and this is your message, Aquarius, for October 19th to the 20th, 25th. As a reminder, please hit the notification bell so you can get your free readings every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern T Standard Time. Um, every I tend to try to read as many people as possible. So you will get a reading. It may not be a full reading, but you'll get a, a mini reading. You'll get some free cards. Um, and thank you very much for joining me.